What's going on there folks? Earth Master here checking in on this Monday evening about 8.52 p.m. May 18th, 2020. And um, well, taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe shows it's pretty active folks as well as another earthquake striking the Nevada region. That's going to be this quake showing up right here on the data stations over here on the bottom left side near Gold Mountain, Nevada. That uh, three-pointer also showing up at Long Valley Super Volcano or Mammoth Lakes, California. Their seismograph station also picking up that three-pointer, uh, 3.4 to be exact. Uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity on the ramp up out here on the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, right off the coast of Japan there, they had quite a few fours and a cluster of fives as well. Um, this activity is kind of new. We have seen this uh, on a little bit on the quiet side of the past couple days. It's starting to change up here. Obviously, today, just looking at the globe, we see a major shift in the plate itself here. They did have a pretty deep earthquake there, 4.5. Uh, striking. Let's see how deep that is. 484 kilometers below the surface, so some some pretty big movement down there on this section of the Pacific Ring of Fire and you can see it pretty well defined there um, part of the uh, Pacific Plate there some deep movement in that section uh, did have some earthquakes over there around China as well a couple five pointers or at least a five pointer and some uh, fours uh, being reported as an aftershocks there uh, Greece or close to Greece as well had some uh, some pretty good sized earthquakes there 5.3 I think they had a 5.8 there's a 5.8 right there kind of in the mediterranean sea region we have been seeing quite a bit of uh, uh activity there over the past couple weeks not for sure if that's going to lead up to something bigger or not 5.8 being the uh, largest one they've seen uh, there in quite some time shooting all over here towards the west a little bit well Puerto Rico on the decline. You noticed uh, not a whole lot of earthquake activity over there anymore. Um, normally we would see this thing stacked up, but we're just not seeing that today. Uh, actually, no earthquakes uh, recently. Getting close to the 24 hour period there in the Puerto Rico area with a couple small threes, uh, but other than that, pretty much calming down. Uh, the big story, of course, out here on the West Coast, or I should say Nevada. Now yeah, we'll include the West Coast because Oregon, off the coast of Oregon, Northern California, out there in the Pacific, had a couple interesting earthquakes there, 5.5 and a 4.7 back-to-back, kind of within the same area. We can take a look at that on a different map. Go ahead and shoot this up here real quick, and we'll zoom in to that area of interest. I'm kind of burned out, folks. I've been driving all day, storm chasing out here in California. I've got some uh, pretty crazy weather out here. Ran into a bunch of hail and some lightning and thunder and some torrential downpours. Uh, there's a 5.5 and a 4.7 there striking the uh, off the coast of Northern California. Not in the Cascadia subduction zone. It's more or less on the Gorda Escarpment region uh, or the Gorda Ridges. This little area right here where those ridges are. Uh, so kind of within this little separate plate. Uh, but still just an obvious sign of the... Um, continual pressure out here along the west coast um, over here towards Nevada we have seen a little little decline in activity if you will there's still quite a bit of activity though 2.5 and above on this map um, pretty obvious here the, um, the amount of quakes I do want to go over here and bring up the all magnitudes here real quick and we'll take take a little bit closer look at that it adds quite a few quite a few more quakes onto the map here uh, 272 compared to what was the other one 80 or 50 somewhere around there so still quite a bit of activity occurring out there um, within the region let's see here. I want to go back let's go back seven days 2.5 and above there was a little area out here I was watching uh, in between where we've seen the quake swarming over here near Mono Lake uh, a couple weeks ago this whole area right here kind of connecting if you will with quakes uh, it's kind of interesting I don't believe it's volcanic related as I've mentioned before in my videos it's just not enough 
uh, evidence to support that this is purely plate tectonics out here and uh, the obvious pressure out here on the west coast shooting down here to the south real quick let me uh, switch up this map a little bit Ridgecrest region pretty uh, yeah you know they're they still have there's a few quakes in there nothing big if anything this activity up here in Ridgecrest looks like it may be dying down a little bit uh, of course San Andreas fault system here pretty quiet there's a little microquake down here near Indio in Indio I think that's how you pronounce that don't believe yeah that's a ways away from the uh, San Andreas fault system that's gonna be this red solid line here uh, kind of just out there in the mountains at a pretty shallow depth 1.9 kilometers at 1.1 is nothing to even write home about but uh, Yeah, we'll just see what Mother Nature has in store. I've, I've said it before, though, in the past. If we start seeing activity pick up here along the um, western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, we're going to see activity die down over here towards the east on the west coast. And aside from Nevada, you know, a couple quakes off the coast, it relatively seems like it may be calming down a tad bit. <clears throat> There's my voice. Um, but still activity nonetheless out out here uh like i say i'm just i am tired i am burnt out i'm probably gonna call call it an early bedtime because i uh man if you didn't get a chance to go watch a hail video yet we don't get large hail out here in california we get the you know pretty much pea size in our typical thunderstorms but there was just quite a bit of it and i haven't seen any of that in a while out here so it's kind of neat uh but we did see a oh, heck a lot of rain torrential downpours kind of like the uh storms out there in texas where it just you know like a car wash so to speak but uh it was fun i uh had some issues with with my iphone once again so i wasn't able to stream in fact i wasn't even able to track radar um i just happened to go off of some cloud structure forming uh around the area and i went ahead and followed it and sure enough i had no problem finding the hail core uh, but I was out there in the blind, you know, I had no idea what was going on if it was tornado warned if it was severe warned uh, My phone just I don't know. I got it wet a couple day, A few days ago almost like a week or so ago the iPhone X and they're supposed to be waterproof. Well It's in the continual reboot thing again the Apple reboot So I don't know. I'm thinking about upgrading here pretty soon. I don't know. I like this phone though nothing wrong with it no scratches I've had it for since the iPhone X came out and uh, it's, it's done pretty good it's got good video quality it's just taking a crap on me right now it's just not good anyway um yeah have a good night folks uh, that's gonna be it for the earthquake video update uh, just gonna make a short one here and uh, we'll get back over here to the earthquake live 3d stream and uh, hope you folks have a great night out there stay safe